guys, it's Angelina back with another video and today's video is going to be just a normal vlog like I've been doing lately. I love doing these so much. I feel like it's just so easy to like pop out my camera and start, you know, vlogging throughout my day. And if you guys are looking at my eyes and you're like, whoa girl, like what are you doing? Um, I don't know if you guys could tell what it is. Can you guys tell what it is? It's a jack lantern if you can't tell. I texted my boyfriend and I was like, oh, if you didn't know, like if I didn't tell you what it was, would you know what this is? And he was like, he blatantly said, no, babe. And I was like, okay. Like literally I was on the verge to like wipe it off. And he was like, no, I'm kidding. Like I could tell. And I was like, okay, good. Like, thank God. I was literally about to like just wipe off my whole makeup and be like, okay, whatever. This is, this is a this is a wrap this is not ever going to be posted no one's ever going to know about this so i think you could tell i mean it's a jack-o-lantern literally this shirt you guys i'm not even kidding hopefully like it doesn't show my boob in the video but this shirt is very cropped i'm only using this shirt for instagram because half of my closet is basically like that it's mainly for instagram so majority of my clothes that I do wear on Instagram more like selfies wise or very showy kind of looks and stuff. That's more for Instagram. Trust me, you will not catch me like that out on the street. I'm mainly you will catch me in sweats and a regular t-shirt. If you just see me casually like strolling around, you will see me so bummy. Like I do not care. I just wanted to start this video so that way I don't have to worry about that later. Oh my gosh. It's, I swear, literally, I'm going to hold it down like this the whole time as I'm talking because I swear it keeps going up. Right now, it's October 12th, 9.30. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably don't care what day it is, but so. But I'm actually going to film another video either tomorrow or Monday. The title is going to be Cooking with a Dummy, which I'm the dummy if you didn't know that. But you're gonna be cooking with me. I'm going to now take pictures for Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. So yeah, I'm going to now end this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, so now it's the next day, which is Sunday. And right now it's 4.13 p.m. And I knew I wasn't going to vlog all day because I just wasn't doing anything all day. I knew I wasn't gonna do anything. I just stood home all day, took a shower has some relaxation and just me time. So I was just like, I'm not gonna vlog because boring, you know? But I was just watching Keep Me Up With The Kardashians all day long, still am, right after I'm done vlogging, I'm going to go to there. But I do have my food, I took a shower, I just got out of the shower, that's why my hair is like a little bit wet, you guys can't tell. I have my food here with me and I'm, you guys, I got in and out for dinner it's four and you guys probably are thinking like that's way too early i know it's early for a lot of people but this is pretty like normal time that i eat my dinner this is like the last time i kind of have my food i stopped eating before six o'clock i didn't really eat anything today honestly just because i don't know i just haven't been hungry all day and sometimes i just forget to eat that's like really bad okay so don't don't do that a coke but literally me drinking coke as i have like a a Pepsi shirt on but that's okay I got my in and out right here I got I'm gonna tell you guys what I get I haven't had in and out in so long and I mean I'm not on a diet right now but I do watch what I eat a lot still and I still count my calories that's kind of been a regular to me now so I don't really consider that my a diet I consider that my everyday life I get a number two which is just a normal burger. I do get it with onion and I do get regular fries. So just the combo itself. And that's pretty much all I get from there. I do get it with onion. And I know a lot of people don't like onion in their burger, but I love onion. I don't know why. A lot of people think I'm very weird for that. I love onion. I don't know what it is. I could eat onion like an apple. That's how much I like onions. That's gonna be my dinner. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna vlog today just because I'm not really gonna do anything. I'm gonna. Still continue watching Keep Me Up With The Kardashians right now. I'm basically going to do nothing. So yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog right here for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is Monday, which I don't. Also, I also don't think I'm going to do anything because I don't have school. So I'm not going to be out or anything. I'm kind of just going to relax for the last time that I'm going to 
be home the last day that I'm going to be home until my week actually starts. Hey everyone, so now it is the end of the day and I did say in the last clip that I wasn't going to vlog anymore but for the rest of the day, but I did want to like sit down and talk to you guys at the end of the day. I think that's what I'm going to start doing at like every day at the end of the day. But I did want to tell you guys like a little bit of something that's been all day. I mean, it's been happening for a good month now a month almost two months but i don't take it as something serious but now it's kind of getting me worried so my wrist has been hurting so bad and it's kind of weird because my left wrist hurts and my right wrist i'm getting deja vu right now like i'm getting deja vu of talking about the situation is that weird that's so weird. Okay. Anyways, my wrist, my left wrist has been hurting so bad lately. I don't know why. And it's been happening for two months, which is weird because I'm not left-handed. I'm, my dominant hand is my right hand. I'm right-handed for everything. So I just don't understand how my left wrist is hurting. So I'm just going to say I do have like a disease and I mean like it's serious because it's not curable but it's like not as bad as like something compared to another person where there's just there's just so much worse in this world where it's like I don't know I don't take it ser I mean I should really take it seriously but I mean at the same time there's nothing I could do about it because it's not curable so I mean this is like it's very there's nothing really I could do about it besides like put cream on it and stuff. But I do have psoriasis. I do have psoriasis, which is not curable. If you guys have psoriasis, a lot of people deal with psoriasis, like for example, Kim Kardashian. And it was kind of funny because my wrist has been hurting so bad. And this new episode that I was watching, shockingly, I don't know, maybe it's a sign or what, but... She was talking about her her wrist was hurting and the same stuff that happens to me. She was saying how her wrist hurts and it just like locks up sometimes and stuff is so heavy. And I was telling like my boyfriend and like my, my best friend and I was like, my wrist hurts so bad. Like I can't even carry my phone. Like I could carry on this, on this side perfectly fine on my right hand easily bending bending it or whatever but when I get to this side it's literally like it's hurting me right now and like just to do this it's in pain right now just by doing that and the phone isn't heavy I mean this is fine me doing this with my right hand and obviously this is hurting obviously there's something but Kim Kardashian was literally saying the same stuff as I'm experiencing. And it's kind of weird because my pain, it's not every day where it's like continuously being in pain or anything. That's why I would have mentioned it to you guys a long time ago if it was, but I just, I mean, it comes and goes. So I, I just don't think of it as a big deal, but she was talking about how hers comes and goes too. Like it's not an everyday thing. And then she went to the doctor and they were just saying that it's like arthritis because psoriasis does lead to arthritis, which I'm still kind of confused about. And I don't really like to search it up because it scares me to like think about all that stuff and like what I'm going to deal with in the future. It just scares me. So I try like to keep myself away from that. And Google just scares me in general when you like Google like diseases and stuff like that because you know, like you might like Google something and think you have this and then it just makes it worse. And I'm very, I'm a person that I overthink a lot and just like make one situation. I overthink it and just think of it as like 10 times worse than it is. So I know if I were to Google something, I just, oh my gosh, like I would be freaking out. It, the doctor was just saying that it's psoriasis turning into arthritis. And I'm thinking I'm only 19, like do like 19 year olds even get arthritis like I don't know um my eyelids if you guys can't tell but they are red right now 
and they're just so irritated from my psoriasis and I was googling this because I was like okay is it normal to have psoriasis on your eyelids 10% of the world has psoriasis on their eyelids which is really rare I mean 10% is really low compared to this whole world and you're just saying 10% like that's a little bit so and I guess I'm part of the 10% because I have psoriasis on my eyelids and it literally burns it burns there's days where I have to go without makeup to school or just days without doing makeup that's why for a while on Instagram I took not a break from Instagram but I just wasn't posting as much I kind of took like like a break from Instagram but I mean I wanted to post I didn't quit I was still posting on my story and being active on my stories but I didn't post for a while because I just couldn't take any pictures and I was really just posting pictures that I took previously and then obviously you run out of pictures to post so once I ran out of pictures I was like oh my gosh like what do I do because I had psoriasis where if I were to wear makeup my psoriasis would come back 10 times worse or if the makeup touch would touch my psoriasis on my face it would burn like literally flaming hot cheetos there's days where like i just want to like cover up my whole body because i mean like it's literally scales on your body and there's no cure to it i don't really understand how there's no cure to it i mean i do understand it because it is an immune disease because something don't quote me because i'm not a doctor but this is what i read on google but psoriasis actually is an immune disease because your immune kind of gets confused so of course everybody we produce skin yeah we produce skin or when your skin sheds new skin is produced that like hurt my wrist right now when i did that oh okay so i'm getting like i'm just very scattered brain right now but because this wasn't even planned. I just wanted to talk about it because it's like my wrist is really hurting today. Like super bad. But so I have psoriasis right here. I have psoriasis right here. You guys could kind of see it. Not really. But so this is where my wrist hurts. And when I do this, like when I kind of like, I don't know, like a claw, all this hurts right here. So that's why I'm kind of thinking it could be arthritis because my psoriasis is right here when I do that this hurts right here and there's no way I could have sprained it and if I did sprain it it would be hurting every single day until it healed but the thing is is that it comes and goes so obviously it has to be something In high school I never had psoriasis never dealt with psoriasis i've heard of it because of kim kardashian talking about it previously in her episodes but i just never experienced psoriasis myself i was just like oh like it's just a disease that she has like i understood what it was and everything when she would explain it and then suddenly high school after high school everything was good and then january comes 2019 of january that's when it started on my arms like all right here here it went everywhere literally my whole body was covered in it and I still have like big scars on them like I don't know if I can even show you guys because like you guys just wouldn't be able to see them so I'm gonna try and find pictures I remember sending a picture to my boyfriend because my boyfriend took a picture of me and literally a big patch of psoriasis you could see on the back of my leg and I was like bruh like bro and i mean i do cover it with makeup i do edit it out on my pictures and yeah so i'm just gonna say that i do edit them out on my pictures i do cover it with makeup as best as i could but with covering it with makeup obviously it's going to transfer on places like it's just going to be a whole mess so that's why i try not to do that that's why i like winter because then you know you, it's cold you could cover up and stuff but summer of course it gets hot and summer I don't know what's worse. I want to say summer gets worse because then you sweat and stuff like that. And it's hot. Especially when you go to the gym because you sweat when you're in the gym. 
So one of the pictures, hopefully I find it, it's me in the gym, literally covered with psoriasis on the back of my leg. And it's me on the machine laying on my stomach and literally covered with psoriasis. So yeah, like, I mean, like, I, I don't know, like, it's kind of crazy because like, it is like not cure it's not curable there's no there's nothing you could do about it you can manage it you can control it but there's nothing like that would just not make it come and it usually comes genetically i do get it genetically from my mom's side and then i do get it on my fingers too oh my gosh like literally i can still feel it on my fingers sometimes like right now i can feel it i know exactly where it would be it's not bothering me um also, why I think it's arthritis, like I said, psoriasis can lead into arthritis. And the reason why is because psoriasis is it produces extra cells. Since so psoriasis produces extra skin cells, it kind of swells the joint in there, which swelling the joint equals arthritis, which kind of sucks. I mean, at least I'm not going to do this forever in my future, but I am a cosmetologist. As I mean, as you guys know, if you guys watch my other videos, I go to beauty school, so I am a cosmetologist. Well, not a cosmetologist yet, a cosmetology student. I'm a cosmetology student, almost done with school though. I'm literally done in two months. As a cosmetologist, as doing makeup all the time, as doing hair all the time, you're using your hands a lot. So, but I'm right handed, so I know it's not because of my cosmetology. It's not because I'm cutting hair. It's not because I'm doing this. Everything I do, I use with my right hand. So I know it's not that because my right hand feels perfectly fine. Like it's working. But this one is where the problems happen. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about how I have psoriasis and it's just, it's not fun. I never really talked about it just because I never really took it as like something too crazy to think about but I mean I still kind of am just like mm, like it's just psoriasis and it's just like rashes that I get all over the place but you see there is other stuff like getting arthritis and stuff like that that's when I'm like um like and to the point where it's like hurting my wrist I'm just putting it on my psoriasis it's probably not because of my psoriasis there could be other reasons as to why I have my wrist is hurting but I mean, it does make sense if it were to be psoriasis and I do have psoriasis really badly. But yeah, that is basically all I wanted to talk about tonight. And I think I'm going to end out this video here. I'm pretty sure I am. I think so. So I'm just going to end my video out right here. I'm going to actually film tomorrow. So that's why I'm going to end it right here. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and keep on watching my videos. Bye, guys.